Liliana, hello, good evening. How are you? Hi, teacher. Good evening. Much better. Much better. Nice. Yeah. That's nice. Absolutely. That's nice. Yeah. But, well, better. Not excellent, but better. Well, that's, I mean, the improvement it's a lot actually yeah. a lot. <clears throat> and you me uh, yeah you know, that's a so boring question mm. me let me see well today work in the morning work in the afternoon a meeting at five at uh, six twenty to the gym uh, I arrived home 15 minutes ago, shower, get dressed, and do some stuff that I still have for my one of them jobs, check out <laughs> everything, and, you know, as I told you, same old story, a lot of things to do. A lot of work to do. Well, my case, well, uh, the day was better than yesterday. Uh, you know, uh, yesterday, my my boss told me in at the in the morning, at the morning, yeah. in the morning, uh, if, if he was uh, uh, like, mm, Ileana, are you okay? And I was like. Yeah, yeah, I'm okay, I'm okay. And he was like, mm, I don't know, you don't look well. You no, 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 don't worry, I'm okay, I'm okay. And actually, uh, I went, well, he told me that, that if you wanna go home, you can go. And I, no, 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 it's okay, I have a, a lot of things to do. and. I want to finish today. I don't want to let the things for tomorrow. And he was, well. Up to you. Yeah. So I came home yesterday at 7 p.m. And well, I had dinner and then I took a medicine for sleep. And I just couldn't make it get up. For the class it then was like oh my god it's too late it's too late and i just don't accomplish but today was better much better actually i bought this i'm happy because i'm both this this pretty i don't know vaso thermico thermic um, class or something like that. that's a thermo look it got your name <laughs> yeah it has my name. Right? That's cool. Yeah. So it's pretty, nice color. So I like it. And that's great. Yeah. Oh, here's Ana Claudia too. Yeah, yeah, but you know, I don't want to talk to her. She's always giving me problems. <laughs> Come on, teacher. I promise. And the Claudia is so nice. I really like her. Thank you. <laughs> See? It's just you. Yeah, that, that's because it's just the first, the first module you've been with her. <laughs> Believe me. <laughs> Believe me. I've been at this for a long while. Oh, so <laughs> <laughs> Hello, people. How are you? Hello, Ana Claudia. Fine. Awesome to hear that. I see your your glass glass. Yeah, oh, it's beautiful. purple. Like For I don't coffee, know, right? lila? No, more lila than purple. Ah, okay. Yeah, and, and it has my name. Aha, uh -huh, yes, it's, I see your yeah. name. It's yeah. beautiful. Congrats. Yeah, thank you. You know, I found this the this stuff in sale, kind of in sale. 
-hmm. And I, I think, oh my God, this is my opportunity to buy. It's my time. <laughs> <laughs> so I bought. Yeah, that's good. Bought this thing. Yes. That's why, that's a reason why you work. So to. Yeah. Purchase. I felt I felt so happy when they called me and said and told me, hey, Liana, your your um pedido, your order, mm -hmm. your order okay. is 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 ready. So get uh, you have to to be um pendiente, teacher. Se me va como estar como pendiente. You got to be, uh, that's a uh, uh, word, no, it's uh, uh, yeah. waiting for. Yeah, waiting for, for, for the call. Yeah. Mm -hmm. When a guy is, is closer to your work, he's going to, to call you. So stay tuned to your to yourself. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so. Okay. So you order it on uh, online. Yeah. Well, in a, an Instagram page, that it's called Tropic Tom Tropic Tumblr, something like that. And they have this, uh, it, they have the delivery. So for free, because it, really? that's what, that was cool. Yeah, delivery whenever for free. It's, it's sort of in a way, it's, I mean, they charge it on the, on the price. Yeah, in the price. You feel, you feel better when they say that. <laughs> I it's want to free. be, now a teacher, I want to believe that my delivery was free. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. <laughs> so nice, Ileana. That's cool. The best deal you made already <laughs> yeah. for free. That's the, nice. That's the nice. deal of my life. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, no. Congrats. Congrats. We are so proud of you. You are uh, thank pretty you, thank savvy you. when it comes to business. <laughs> but yeah. Again, I was so excited and I tell her, nah, they charge you already for that. You pop my bubble, my perfect bubble. <laughs> yeah, that's me. That's me. You're right. Oh, well, it's okay. But I'm here and excited to 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 get the class and learn more things. And be better than yesterday, I hope. Okay, well. Uh, sorry. Well, we are so glad that you could make it tonight, yeah, because we were like yesterday, you know, we were made, we were taking a poll and we were like, nah, if she keeps on, you know, like this, we are going to block her. Oh my God. <laughs> well, I didn't want to, but you know, Ana Claudia suggested it. What? Oh my God, Ana Claudia. No, come on, teacher. Don't say anything that is not out of my word, my mouth. <laughs> don't put words on don't my mouth. words on my mouth. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like that. Don't put words on my mouth. That's right. That's right. Just give me one minute. I'm answering a call. One sure, moment. sure. No problem. No problem. Oh, so, that's great. That's great. So yeah. what's, what was wrong with you? Headache? Yeah, right. Headache, right? Migraine? Yeah. You got what? migraine? Migraine? Sometimes. Like oh, really? a crisis of migraine. Sometimes you know? this, this, this migraine. Um, no sé cómo se dice en inglés. Como dura. O sea, como que cuesta. What? Takes. Hey. Takes. Takes. Sometimes this pain takes like. Ah, takes. Yeah. And then you say the time. Okay, like a week. Okay. And my mood. Oh my god. My mood is like. Mm, kind of angry with the world. And you know. It's hard sometimes being this in this kind of, of, of state, I don't know, state of yeah, mind. State, or, yeah. yeah. And well, but but I'm happy that that I today I felt better, much better than yesterday. And my, my mood was better also. <laughs> was better too. Yeah, than yesterday. So 
I'm happy. That's great. That's great. Excellent. Excellent. Well, uh, so glad to have you here back, Juliana. Yeah, thank you, teacher. And let's see. Oh, tonight we are going to talk at the end with you about some details about your, yeah. your paragraph. Okay. Okay. So, Ana Claudia, you available? You're free? I guess not yet. No. Susana, hello, Susana. Good evening, teacher. Hello. Good evening. How are you? I find teacher. I I present in class. <laughs> well, yeah, that's great. That's great. It's always good to have you here. Yes, teacher. I I I it's much uh, absent. <laughs> yeah, you've been pretty busy, right? Yes, teacher. But it's a I I. I need I need a practice. Ah, uh, don't worry. Everybody does. Everybody does. So tell me, how was your day, Susana? Uh, it's a uh, it's okay, teacher. I finish it. I finish it. Um, my work. I present. Uh, the report. Um, at report. my boss. Report. Reporting my boss. Yeah. I finish. <laughs> I I time I I I have a time uh, to relax. Okay, that's nice. So you to relax and be ready for the class. Yes, is uh, I I espero. I I expect. I expect, I expect, and uh, uh, I, I am having a uh, to a nice tomorrow, <laughs> a day tomorrow. A nice day tomorrow. A nice day tomorrow. Okay. Well, welcome, Susana. Nice having you. Okay. There. Heidi, hello, Heidi. Okay, teacher. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, how are you? I'm ready. Ready, that's cool. Tell me, how was your day? It was great. It okay, was great. So, what did you do? I had oh, my, what? I had my um, performance assessment. Oh, really? From the last year today. Mm -hmm. And how was it? It was nice. Excellent, excellent. The yeah, performance assessment. Wow. I used to, you know, there was a company where I worked that we had a plan, actually. We had to, to create a plan and we were like uh, evaluated the that the performance assessment. <laughs> every two months oh really yep that's heavy pretty heavy imagine no we have a mid-year assessment and a final year mm -hmm. twice a year well and tell me what's the plan for the rest of the week my sister, my big sister came today from Las Vegas. Oh, we're really? celebrating, mm -hmm, we're celebrating her 50th birthday on, on Saturday night. Oh, nice. Mm -hmm. That's great, that's great. Yeah. I haven't been eating, so I will fit my dress. <laughs> You just made my night. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> it's true. Uh, I, I haven't I haven't drunk Coke or 
I haven't I've been taking care of my speaker. <laughs> That's cool. I mean, yeah, but take care of your health. That's yeah, the sure. first step. I mean, but right now your goal is to fit in the dress. <laughs> yeah, you know, I was supposed I was supposed to wear this dress on December for a party yeah. of some friend of ours, but the party never was made because almost everyone got COVID. So this is the time. Okay. Well, so good that you got everything set. And I mean, you got your goal like focus. <laughs> yeah, how about you, teacher? How was your day? Me. Uh, What's new today? What was new? A lot of work? A lot of work. Yeah, I had a meeting, you know, uh, and I went to the gym and I had a meeting at 5.30. It ended at 6 something and I have to get a lot of details. We have uh, with one of the one of the groups that I have. Uh, with that academy, we have an event this coming Saturday. Man, a lot, a lot of work. Believe me, a lot of details that we have to set up. And, and I mean, oof, we are going to be working and doing activities with the with all the other groups. And it's gonna be hard. And the funny thing is this is the only group that I have that are little kiddos. Oh, really? Yep. I got seven from seven to 11 years old kills. Mm, from seven to 11, what they talk about? What did they talk about? Oh, well, right now we are having uh, small conversations, pretty small conversations. You know, we have to adapt the vocabulary to their teacher. level. Uh, we are having small conversations. You have to adapt the vocabulary to their level, but it's, it's cool. I can imagine. We're blessed to have a lot of work. Yeah, actually, but that's the problem. As I have that activity, I have to I have to postpone one of my classes that I have uh, every Saturday, and that's gonna be on Monday afternoon. Yeah, most probably. And I mean, I need to, to rearrange a little bit my schedule for next week. And I had a, also I had a class at, at 1 p.m. And I need also to postpone that one. I had a meeting at four. I tried to make it on time. So, I mean, you know, sometimes one little thing makes a big deal. Mm -hmm. You know, I don't like. Okay, I don't. Okay. Yes, Heidi, you were telling me, sorry. I was telling you that I don't like meetings. And sometimes I got three meetings, one after the other. Yeah, you know, in my and case, I, I don't like meetings. Well, but what really pisses me off about meetings is when they are not productive. I mean, I like meetings to be, when I am the one in charge of the meeting, I bring my agenda, I go straight to the point, what, uh, what we need to do, how we need to do it, uh, the assignments, and that's it. I mean, short to the point, simple. I don't like to dwell into any other matters. I mean, we have a space for a few minutes set apart for other business. We cover them and let's go back to work. 
but I don't like long meetings. I mean, they are not productive. Well, for me, in my case, I don't feel them. In my case, I think the same. You know, when, when we got meetings for, to take advances of production, for example, uh, you expose your branch and you have to wait all of the, for the 13 other ones. Yeah. So it's part of the, part of the game. Yeah, and I mean, to have meetings like that is stressful. It's more stressful and you cannot focus and then you get like uncomfortable. As I tell you, it's not productive. Mm -hmm. Well, Heidi, welcome. Nice having you Good here. teacher. Thank you. Oh, by the way, I'm sorry, I forgot asking you. How are your kids? Well, uh, one of them, uh, I've been told that that hasn't eaten the whole day. Oh, really? I don't know what's wrong. Mm -hmm. But they're fine. Taking her their medicines. That's well, you know, as I told you, kids kick back fast. Hmm. Well, thank you very much and welcome to the class. Thank you. Nice teacher. having you here. Thank you. Okay, guys, let's see, let's see. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Frank, hello Frank, how are you? Hello teacher. Uh, oh, so, so, sorry. So, sorry. Teacher. so sorry, so sorry. So sorry. Hello teacher. Well, it's good to have you here, you know. You need to get your mind a little bit distracted. Yeah, yeah, of course teacher. And, and to be focus on something else sometimes is helpful, you know, because otherwise we start like going to the same and the same and the same. Um, it's a problem, it's a problem. So yeah, tell me, uh, where are you right now, uh, Chalate, or you are still here in San Salvador? No, I'm here in San Salvador right now. I'm resting for a oh, while. My. Maybe tomorrow I uh, will go nice. to Kuchalate. Oh, well, that's cool. Yes. That's cool. Yeah, because I mean, well, we will see. Supposedly, we're expecting rains, right? Yeah, that's what I heard. But, well, we'll see, right? I mean, yeah, let's it's, hope everything turns out okay. Yeah, but if if I will go tomorrow, I will coming back tomorrow too. At the end of the day. Okay. So just well, just for for the day. It's gonna be heavy. Yeah, it's gonna be heavy trip, but yeah. yeah, yeah. A I lot. have to do it. I have some pendants. And I don't know if it's correct. Yeah. Yeah, I have some pendants to do. So uh, I, I have to. I have to go. Okay, well, let's hope everything turns out for you and be careful. Thank you. Because, Thank you. Uh, you know, you've been under a lot of stress and driving far away. I mean, 
it's complex. It's complex. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it yeah. takes its toll. Yeah, of course. I, I, I will be prepared for, for, for that tomorrow. Yeah, thank you for thank no, 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 for your wish. No, we are here always, like you know, always paying attention to those little details because they are important. And you know, uh, and I mean, they believe it or not, they make a big influence in yeah, attitude yeah, yeah. and everything. Yes, but of course. don't worry, we are here, we are here. Thank you very thank much you, for too. being here and making the effort. Thanks to you. Thank you. Let's see, I still got time, guys. I still got time. So, Ana Claudia, you left me waiting for you. Come on, Ana Claudia. <laughs> Sorry, teacher. I have an incoming call. Oh, really? And tell yes, me, what's yes, the plan? Yes, yes, but uh, is everything okay? Mm -hmm. uh, okay, and tell me, how was your day? What you got? Something new? Yeah, something new. Well, uh, something new is today we had like a meeting in the company. There is like a kind at of the oh, at the company. Oh, no, uh -huh, no, no, sorry. No. Yeah. Well, in the company or at? Uh, tell me the whole phrase and then I will tell you. <laughs> okay. Uh, in the company, they are running a rebranding. Uh, so now the company will change the name. And we had today um, a meeting. It was like a streaming, a, a live streaming meeting with one of one powerful uh, coach speaker. She's known in as uh, Dr. Phyllis McGover. She's an energetic woman. My God, it was like. 50 minutes that you felt so energy <laughs> and she is one of the kind of empowerment people she um i don't know if the correct name for that area will be coach because yeah. she's a doctor in, in psychology but also an expert in sales and she was like um position and giving us the tools on how to make the transition, how we will be doing the transition with our customers. And the, the most I like of all the speech she gave is that when we face a change, we must use the strategy like a storyteller. So it depends how you tell the story to whom it may concern. It's not only for sales, it's for your family, is for uh, people around you and uh, it's uh, you can use uh, why how uh, when but but that will be how this uh, what you want to change will be impacting in a good way to all the others not only you it was very very powerful uh, streaming that was very nice i felt like uh, i was um in a how do you say i i do i don't remember now the name como estuve en un me conectaron a la energía eléctrica <laughs> como se llaman esas cosas ay se me olvidó i'm sorry say again the utilities you mean no como se llaman los tomacorrientes ay oh the outlet the electrical outlet, outlet. exactly i felt like i was hooking an outlet mm -hmm. and that woman was, uh, it was like, a, I don't know, she was, uh, the energy you felt in all her speech was amazing. Mm -hmm. She said this, she, that is what she does, strategies and stuff like that. Okay, well, thank you very much. Thank you. Nice. It's and good I think that you have that you have those experiences and that you enjoy them. Yes, of course, because it's not only part of the job, it's uh, because it impacts your life. Uh huh. That is uh, that is one thing that I like, I, I love for this account I work for because they 
always look the way how to empower you as a human being, not only as a team member of the company, it is they help you to grow as a human being. And I enjoy this type of activities. Okay. Ouch, I'm sorry. <laughs> Uh, I'm fine Bones with broken. The mosquito. <laughs> Sorry, but you know that mosquito is giving me the creeps, and I got the I got the thing connected right here next to me. Supposedly it's a repellent, but not working. It's better to use a. How do you say? Uh, I have applied to my body repellent, but this, you know, no, no, no. Uh, one of those things that you recharge uh, that they are used for this sport, but they are. Electric for mosquitoes, las raquetas eléctricas. Oh, I don't know how to say raqueta. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know what you mean. They want to, uh, they but, kill mosquitoes. It's better than, yeah, it's a racket. It's a racket. Oh, yeah, it's a racket. You don't Electrical smell racket. the thing. Uh -huh. Hook up in the there in the wall. So I, I like them instead of using a liquid or something in my body. Oh, no, yeah, I, I use the liquid, I got one in my back, like I have one here, man, but these things, they don't pay attention to it no more. I think they drink it. <laughs> yes, that's right. <laughs> that's right. Yeah, they bite, they don't sting, they bite. Maybe it's because of your blood yeah i'm too sweet that's oh why. come on no maybe they think this is an strange type of blood come on, you got like come on <laughs> maybe they say <laughs> this is a strange type of blood so let's take advantage no this mine, guy. Is not, mine is not that strange let's see i am man i always forget my type of blood mm. the only thing i remember is it's just the, in here in El Salvador, just the 11% of the population has got it. Maybe it's O? Yeah, it's O. But it's uh, positive. Oh. My sister is negative. Ah, okay. Yeah, but little detail, little details. Okay. Uh, Ana Claudia, welcome. Thank you, teacher. Thanks to you. Let's see who else is around. Oh, the attendance is around. Sorry, guys. And I'm like, and I am like, not really, really into this. Let me, I need to concentrate more. Ada Susana Cáceres Mendoza. Present, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Amber Elia Alfaro. Gomez. Present. Ana Claudia González Velázquez. Present teacher. Francisco Eduardo Figueroa Mejía. Present teacher. Jairi Eugenia Salguero de Rivas. Present teacher. Henry Neftalí Méndez Torres. Liliana Giselle Cañas Escobar. Present. Jacqueline Xiomara Morales de Castro. Thank you, Jacqueline. Jose Marcos Rodriguez Ayala. Jose Osmín Rivas Navas. Present. Jose Wilfredo Ayala Sorto. Present, teacher. María Alejandra Barrientos Romero. Present, teacher. Nicolás Atilio Méndez Granados. Present. Rebecca Jasmine Monterrosa Figueroa. Present. Roxana Ibeda Asensio de Mejía. Stephanie Alejandra Salmerón Ibarra. Present. Susana Beatriz Ortiz de Cornejo. Present, teacher. Wilman Frank Figueroa Peñate. Ramón Enrique Mata Escobar. Present teacher. Fernando Marvin González Martínez. 
Okie dokes. Let's see. Hmm. It's up time. Okay. Who else? Let's see. Jose Wilfredo, how are you? Hello, teacher. Good evening. So far, so good. What about you? Uh, you know, same old story. Busy. Well, why busy? What about you? How's everything? In my case, teacher, I got uh, the Joshua Limeran that we have on Tuesday. So we have a meeting like when at the middle of the shift. Maybe not was like a meeting, if not was like a training because they explain uh, some terms about uh, the position that I deployment. Okay. So it was really good because I learned a lot and then um, I have to to enjoy uh, to enjoy in and in, in other meeting that was made by my supervisor. But just to clarify some some uh, terms, and then I chill the can I say I I chill the most of all um, evening. Yeah. Okay. Then that's it. Today was a, a really relaxing day. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, that's and right. You know, we were talking with Heidi that when it comes to meetings, uh, it's not our thing really. Yeah, the training section maybe was for one or one, one and a half hour. So it was boring, but we have to pay an attention because we need to learn uh, a lot of for that. But well, let's that's go. Nice. I mean, when so far, you so have good. a training, a training of one hour and a half, that's cool. Yeah. Let's see. Um, Last time I had a training, I'll tell you my schedule. Maybe it's not too much. Maybe it's not too much because, uh, well, the person that was the host uh, uh, speak with a lot of accent because was Hindi. So. Yeah, they do was stressful something because was um, complex to understand sometimes, but most of them, I understand a lot. But okay, was really good. Oh, nice. You know, I was telling you that in my case, let's see, last time I was in training. Well, no, no, it was last time, but the last big training that I had was like five days. Five days. Um, from seven to five, yeah. Seven to five, yeah. Yeah, just a break time of 30 minutes at lunch and 10 minutes in the middle of the morning, 10 minutes in the middle of the afternoon. Was heavy training. Wow. And what's about Actually, what? For this, for this classes. Oh, really? Yeah. Wow. It was beautiful. <laughs> I know. It, what makes uh, the training uh, that be, how can I say, interesting, is that you want to learn. Yeah, of course. Of course. I mean, uh -huh. it's like there i mean we for that training that i was into i mean all the ones who were there we would volunteer i mean we wanted to be in there mm -hmm. actually actually to be honest it's it's not that easy to get into the training 
So I know, I know. Into it. We got into it and we enjoy it. And it was interesting. Just the last evaluation was a little heavy because I mean, we had to prepare and develop a class, one of these classes. But remember that all the ones who were with me, who were participating as my students, were also English teachers. I mean, were colleagues. Yeah, yeah, I know. And the trainer was a very good teacher. I mean, I. The good thing is that I knew her before the the training. She was a. Uh, we were co-workers a long while ago, and we mm -hmm. we are very good friends. I mean, and then when we saw each other there, it made it easier for me to feel comfortable. But still, yeah, it's heavy. Five days in a row, man, it's crazy. Yes, I know, teacher. Maybe for that situation, uh, first be selecting for a, a lot of applicants. So maybe that's going to be hard. And then be on the training and pass the training. I guess that you have to pass. Yeah. Not only you have, uh, just because. You have, we have the evaluations, uh, one evaluation in the morning, one in the afternoon for the whole five days. It was cool, pretty cool. And During the homework. whole, and During the whole training. Yep. Wow. And homework. So I used to finish the training at five, arrive home at around seven and start doing homework. Cool, it was crazy, man. That week was exhausting. Yeah, I know. I guess that you have other uh, classes to with another students. To be honest, for that training, because I I, I knew beforehand how the, the program was working for the uh -huh. training. Uh, uh -huh. I asked for a leave of absence from all my jobs for the full five days because it was very demanding, completely. I yeah. mean, all my time and all my, 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 I was completely focused just on this. All your mind, focus yeah, on because, it. Yeah, because it was also, I mean, I used to teach a subject at the university and it was a methodologist, methodologist uh -huh. for teaching English. And uh, the particular method methodology we use in this, it's different. Mm -hmm. So we needed to understand it, apply it. And I mean, when you talk about the methodology, you need to work also in techniques and that's something else and it's interesting but heavy and it's fun in the end well you know it's my thing so i enjoy it mm -hmm. but maybe that position was so uh, that position was according to you because i guess that you have a lot of experience uh, teaching english uh, teaching english and also knowledge about it yeah, well, a little bit, you know, this thing when we talk about education is funny because this is uh, this is like a living thing. It evolves, it changes, uh -huh. and it's changing constantly. So uh -huh. in our case, we need to be like updating our knowledge constantly. And on top of that, languages, they change. I mean, like the vocabulary that I was using four years ago is not the same that I'm using right now. Some words I have lost them because they are they uh, they became uh, out of fashion and new words are appearing. So you have to adapt a lot, and it's fun because I mean we practice. Well, so friend, nice talking to you. Okay, thank you, teacher. Nice talk to you. Thanks to you. I don't know why I. Uh, Let's not talk about that. I get so excited and I get carried on. Let's see, but I have talked too much tonight, guys. And that's good, but that's not that good because you gotta talk. 
Okay, let's see. What are we talk? What are we gonna talk today? Arguing. Arguing, having discussions. Okay. Let's see. Who am I going to ask? Um, Stephanie, hello. Hello. Hi, Stephanie, how are you? Hello. I'm fine, I'm fine, sorry. <laughs> I'm doing great. I just okay. ate a little bit a few minutes ago. <laughs> oh, really? Yes. That's cool. That's why you're happy. You said like, oh, yeah, I'm content. <laughs> I was hungry. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> no, that's cool. I mean, it's nice. In my case, yeah. I'm just smelling they're having dinner here already. Oh, no, this is sad. <laughs> How can you I'm say like to. your like your I would say tripas here like are feeling the food? <laughs> yeah, but uh, you know I uh, I don't usually eat that this time. Yeah. Oh, well. Yeah, my oh. well, <clears throat> you got different terms. You can say like, if you're being too specific, you say entrails. Okay. Uh, but in this case, for you, it's uh, what you just said is my inards. 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 Double N. Let me fix it for you. And there's inards. another expression that is got. But when we when we use gut, it's different, and we say it like, "Oh, you know, I feel it in my gut." And you say, but oh, if there's yeah. something in your gut." Uh, I don't know which could be the equivalent in Spanish. I mean, to like entrañas, something like that. Yeah, no, but when you say gut, when you say, "I feel it in my gut." It's like uh, it's symbolic. It's not. Uh, oh man, lo siento en mi. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know uh, how to express the idea in in Spanish. Yeah, because it's it's a whole different thing. Hold on. Yeah, because I mean, textually, is, yes, it's in my entraña. Nosotros decimos como, ah, tuve el presentimiento, me lo esperaba, lo presentía, I felt it in my gut. Okay. okay. Or some, you can use it in another way. Uh, you know, I don't think I don't think you have the guts to 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 fight with someone. Oh, okay. You got mm -hmm. it? Yes, 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 got it. Okay, yeah, mm -hmm. but expressions. But we were talking about something else. Arguing, Stephanie. So tell me, uh, how do you feel after arguing with someone? <laughs> well, I, oh, well, oh my it, gosh, that's a smile. No, well, what you just did was not a smile, what's a mm, chuckle? It's kind of no. chuckle. Well, really, really, I don't feel very good if, if it's something about you know, about feelings, about something that, that you don't feel good if you lose. No, that's if I lose. I, well, I I usually don't I, I usually don't have any problems with the people. Most of my of my of my coworkers says like Stephanie doesn't get angry like. But when when I feel angry about something or we have to speak 
it was like, okay, I just angry because this really angry to me. So, but normally I speak angry to me. Normally I just feel um, like, like what what's happening or kind of sometimes depends on what is the topic. I feel sad because I don't know what to say. But if something about this, uh, sorry, <laughs> what is that? This pisses me off. Oh, me enoja. Oh, me enoja. Yep, pisses me off. Okay, the thing that pisses me off, or but I feel sad most of the time because when I finish, if it's something that makes me feel bad. I cry, <laughs> I cry, but I, I, I try to finish what I'm, I'm trying to say. Normally I, I get angry if it's something about, about me, but if it's something important or something that we have to do, I just try to be serious about that because it's something that means something important, not just me or for the work or whatever have to be the problem. I think I, that's what I feel. <laughs> okay, cool, thank you. You're welcome. Let's see, what about you, uh, Rebecca? Hello, Rebecca, you around? Yes, teacher, I'm here. Okay, tell me. How do you feel when you finish a discussion with somebody? When I finish what? Arguing, fighting, discussing. Mm, sorry, I don't understand the question. Discutiendo, I think I was discutiendo. How do you feel when you when you argue <laughs> with someone? Ah, okay, okay. At the end, how do you feel? Oh, well... I think in my case I feel comfortable because all the time, all the time I try to do that, I don't, I don't know what. With everyone, when I, I don't know, when I, you when girls I'm scare me, you know, you girls <laughs> scare me. Sorry, but Stephanie can can, can confirm that. But when I'm not agree with someone else, I have to tell that. <laughs> Yeah, she say what she think. Yeah, <laughs> all the time. And and I feel comfortable when when I when I finish to to, to do that. When I when I don't agree, okay. <laughs> okay, and I'm texting to you something else. You can also mm -hmm. say when I am not in agreement. Okay. It's the same when I'm not in agreement. Okay. Well, that's the idea. <laughs> okay, well, thank you. Now let's see about guys because these girls are scaring me. Francisco, hello, Francisco, how are you? It's fine, teacher, it's fine. Okay, tell me, tell me. Do you feel bad after you have an argument? Um, uh, for me, uh, usually, uh, it's very, how do you say, the uh, it's, it's like a... Tiring. 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 Or exhausting. Exhausting, most appropriate in this case. Oh. Exhausting. Okay. Usually, uh, after uh, when I have uh, a problem or a discuss, uh, I feel uh, exhausted. Exhausted. Oh. For for me, uh, I try uh, uh, don't have a discuss, but uh, something. Uh, uh, it's not possible. I, I I try to to 
uh, it's trying to avoid with the other uh, person uh, right teacher i try to avoid but if yeah. not, uh, him, yeah. <laughs> yeah but if it's right. not possible uh, we have to control ourselves you see ladies right. you see follow the example man one starts to smiling the other one says oh i feel good <laughs> You are scary girls. Keep calm. Gosh. Keep calm. Keep calm. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Thank you, Francisco. Okay, teacher. Okay, guys. But now I'm going to send you, and that's gonna be the topic. We got a lot of, a lot of questions that we are going to work with, but also we are going to work with the manual, and we are going to touch a little bit of tag endings. Tomorrow I will bring you. A, I hope I can have a presentation for you where I can expand the topic but we will see and I got a couple of questions that you are going to discuss as groups okay now I need you to please pay attention to these questions because there are, there are some okay let's see the first question is what are some reasons why people argue what do you think what does your family argue about? How do you avoid arguments? Do you think it is best to argue or just to walk away? What do you think? What's your opinion? Okay. That's what you are going to be discussing working in groups. And as we do uh, the other day, we are going to be like having like a host per group. So in group number one, I got Amber, Fernando, Heidi, Eliana. No, I'm sorry, I have to make a change here. Just a second. Yeah, I needed to separate these people. Okay, in group number one, Amber, Fernando, Heidi, Maria Alejandra, and Stephanie. Okay, the one who's going to be hosting is Heidi. You're going to be in charge of the questions, Heidi. Okay, teacher. Room number two, Ada, Jacqueline, Jose Wilfredo, uh -huh. and Nicolas. Okay, Jose Wilfredo, you're in charge of the questions. Group number three. Francisco, Jose Osmin, Ramon, and Billman. Frank. Francisco, you are in charge of asking the questions. In group number four, Anna, Claudia, Ileana, Rebecca, and Susana. Ileana, you're going to be in charge of asking the questions. Remember, not all the questions to the same person, top two questions per person. Okay? Let's go. We got us six minutes to this. Okay, let's see. Everybody's jumping into the group. Teacher. Yes, Jose Wilfredo. Could you send me the invitation again, please? Because I will, since my computer, I will disconnect. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. I will send you to group three, and then I from group three, when you're connected there, I will send you to, to your room, okay? Yeah, just, just a moment. Okay. Oh, no, 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 because I got you here. Uh, you were going to work with, uh, let's see, yeah, directly. I'll send you directly. Okay. Got it? Okay, okay. Yeah. 
they are not used to handle their stress sometimes. And also um, because to argue, you need two parties. So so Ana Claudia. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, don't worry. No, I was telling you that to argue, you need two parties. And if one part is not um, following up uh, the, um, the fight, let's say in that way, the argue, uh, the other the one, argument. the arguments, okay, thank you. The other part must stop. So, um, but why, the reason why, so reason why people argue could be money, could be, uh, broken relations, uh, their Oh, those children. are horrible. Mm -hmm. But most of the time, I think people is arguing always for money. Mm -hmm. mm. But you know, the most, the hardest one are the, the, the yeah. ones between partners, no. Mm. Spouses, those mm -hmm. are the hardest because you are talking about feelings. And mm -hmm. in that case, I mean, People can easily lose. Uh, I mean, they stop being rational after a little while, and after a little while, the only thing that matters is to hurt the other person. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. that's heavy because I mean, uh, sometimes you lose the the actual the actual matter mm -hmm. that you were discussing about, and if somebody else gets into this. That person is in danger. Mm -hmm. Exactly, the third one. Yeah, I mean, to be a third party on a family argument is never healthy. <laughs> never a good idea. <laughs> uh, well, I don't, I don't even like to be the second party. <laughs> yeah, I'm a guy. We guys never win. Even when we win, we don't. Okay. So it's not healthy. And right, this, yeah, this thing is, uh, about art, argue. It's argue, just, argue yeah. yeah. Uh, it's common that, that these, these kind of things happen in family. So what do you think, Susana? Uh, what does your family or families in general argue about? I think she's not available now. Okay, there's Rebecca. Okay. Rebecca, what do you think? What does your family or families in general argue about? Oh, well, for the economy. <laughs> <laughs> it's very common to hear that. <laughs> Money again. Uh, well. <laughs> yeah. For everything. <laughs> yeah. For the economy, it's for a, sport. a complicated relationship. <laughs> Even with, with with things that 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 in my case sometimes uh, with my sister we discuss or oh, oh, we had a little fights because oh you took my 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 skirt or my pants or my pair of shoes little things and at the end we discuss about it or oh, we we had we have little fights because that little things so i think in family as as the teacher says fight or argue or discuss for everything actually <laughs> it's true <laughs> for the food too if you have yeah. a a dish that someone else wants <laughs> In my case, I like I like these 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 uh, these things, epinguinitos. Uh -huh. And sometimes I have winitos in 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 the fridge. And uh -huh. today, and sometimes they, they disappear. Yeah, and I'm <laughs> like, who ate my pinguinito? 
And oh. my brother, my sister, no, not me, not me, no, I don't that's, know. That's that's pretty normal in my house. <laughs> that's why I don't even open the fridge. I get sad when I do it. Yeah. And what do you think, Ana Claudia? In your case, in your family, or in general, families in general, uh, what do you think that 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 families argue about? Family argues. Mm. Well, no, we don't argue about the food because we know each other and we know what likes to each of us. But mm, no, neither in money, we before any investment or any expensive, we discuss before okay. if we have the budget to do this, this or that, or if we can go ahead with this. And that's avoid us a lot of arguments. Um, I think, no, we don't have any issue in our family, thanks God. <laughs> Oh. We understand each other, uh -huh, and we negotiate, and we talk a lot. That, that. You know what, Ana Claudia? You have had like three emotions telling me, you are not Salvadorian because you don't need this and that. You are not Salvadorian. Here in El Salvador, it's family sport to have discussions. No, you know? no, come on. No, we yes, are, yes. We are peace, peace uh, people, and what happens Peaceful, is that peaceful. Peaceful people, uh-huh. And no, we don't discuss uh, anything. We discuss, but we don't argue. And if you don't like something, for example, with my sister, she has a way how she educates her daughter. Sometimes my mom is trying to do things on her old fashioned way. And I, as a, as a happy uncle, <laughs> that allows everything, I think, in another, another way. But we respect and we understand that she's the mother and she must put their rules, stuff like that. That is the highest thing we been discussing in our family. For the rest, most of the time we're in on agreement of everything. Oh, that's cool. Very, mm -hmm. very cool. Yeah, yeah. Well, in, in my case, for example, uh, talking about avoid the arguments or, or, or fights or, or, or just argue, in my case, I just said, okay, you're right, I'm wrong, and that's it. Because personally, I don't like to, to, to discuss with anybody. If I can avoid, fighting fights or discuss or some or stuff like that i just said that okay it's okay you're right i'm i'm wrong and, and it's okay i do that that's how i avoid arguments in my case uh, i don't know if it's right but the peaceful in the family <laughs> yeah actually yeah mm -hmm. yeah you're you're single right yeah <laughs> oh, that's why. What? You, Maybe Rebecca? that is the reason single? why we are peaceful. Yeah. Yeah, that's why you don't have that big problems. <laughs> you don't know what life is really like until you argue with your husband. <laughs> and that's well. a fact. <laughs> Somebody. Somebody someday. Someday, teacher, someday. <laughs> and, uh, I mean, it's cool. Sometimes, uh, I mean, sometimes you, we argue just for sport. And that happens. I mean, it's fun. And making up is also fun. Because <laughs> I mean, in the end, uh, when it's family, I mean, it's simple. In the end, just end up living with them. I mean, following yeah. day. So we make amends, we make it up. And sometimes we don't even talk about it afterwards. And life keeps on, which is cool. It's a whole different thing if you do it in your workplace. Oh, yeah. 
because consequences there are different. Yeah. Totally different. Let me go yes. check the rest of the groups if they have finished. Yes. Okay. Um, do you think is do you think it is best argue or just walk away? So you say, Nicolas, you you walk away. Oh no, Nicolas, he goes to fight. He says, <laughs> you know, he puts his gloves on and no, it, it, for me is is. Uh, is necessary by the, the tongue. Is, is correct by the tongue, teacher? Morder la lengua, morderme la lengua? Yeah. Because I, I, I well, repeat, I, I, I am repeat. I am very hungry when- Angry. When hungry, when I not understand the positions in different different uh, uh, different sons with my son and my wife of course at the moment is is better mm -hmm. okay mm -hmm. who likes to fight here who likes to discuss nobody likes to fight. nobody teacher i think you know <laughs> kairi looks like a very very a peace person. person. <laughs> really? <laughs> no, I am sure that Maria Alejandra must be of the ones that when she gets on fire, you gotta be <laughs> careful. You gotta watch out for yourself. <laughs> yeah, experience has taught me that people who smile a lot, when they get angry, you gotta run. <laughs> because they are very angry. <laughs> Yeah. Yes, sir, but I that try. Happened to me. <laughs> but well. Okay. Mm -hmm. So Heidi, well, Heidi, you need to be very, very, very careful with this. How do you avoid arguments? Because in your position, in your company, I mean that's every day happens. Yes. Um, Yes, um, you have to, to find the, the point of agreement. You have to find it. And do you think it can be applied to our personal life? Of course. Of course. Of course. Of course. You have to find, find the, the ideas everyone is, is agrees with. <laughs> and, and that's your point of Punto de partida. How do you yeah, say you, that? You start in point. You start in point, exactly. And that's when you, where you start working on, right? Mm -hmm, exactly. Let me see if I agree or not with that. I like discussing. No, I'm done. I don't. <laughs> you know, I pay not to fight with nobody because in my case, I am a, I am pretty serious and. My problem is this, I am trying to be patient because when I get angry, I am a very... Calm. Um, no, but... I'm, pretty, I'm pretty cynical. So when I speak, I court. But you know something, it all depends who you are arguing with. It is different if you argue with your boss than if you argue with your son, for example. Not the same thing. Oh, no. But the thing is this, that uh, the only, like in this company, I don't have a problem. I don't discuss with nobody because actually I don't see nobody. <laughs> yeah, I mean, uh, my boss, my main boss, the, the top man, last time I saw him was like three years ago. <laughs> really? Yeah. Yeah, and I mean, and, and actually he's so calm and so cool, it's hard to have a discussion with him. 
And in my other job, the problem is this, that I have a couple of coworkers that they like to be arguing about pointless stuff. Mm -hmm. So what I try to do is that, as I told you, I always like to get to the point. When it comes about, when it's related to my job, I like to get to the point. And I mean, if I have done something wrong, I, I have always been of the attitude, okay, you don't need to be telling me more. I accept it, I understand it. Uh, if I need to make amends, that's okay, that's fine. Let's see how do we fix it and let's move on. I mean, the, the job needs to be done. I don't have that problem with, uh, I mean, accepting my mistakes. If I made a mistake, okay, let's do it. Let's try to fix it. But- I know something, there's several yeah. people who think uh, that always has, has a certain reason that's yeah. always right. That they are that they are that always they are right. Always right. Mm -hmm. They think they're always right. My husband is an example of that kind of person. <laughs> Don't do that to me. I'm just swallowing, swallowing my cup. <laughs> it's true. It's very hard to deal with them. In any couple that happens, you know, because we are talking about uh, two persons, okay? And if you are like completely equals, it doesn't work. Mm -hmm. they, just, they just come to check on me. Mm -hmm. And we are, we live the, exactly the same, but in my case, it's the opposite. So I don't argue here at home. Yeah, she's right. No problem. <laughs> I mean, that's not a problem for me. Unless, unless, I mean, it's uh, something that really needs to be uh, discussed. That I consider, yeah, that I consider that really needs to be discussed. But most of the time, I don't like to argue. I mean, why? There's no reason. In, in our jobs, yes, of course, you have to. Sometimes it is necessary. Sometimes it is necessary, but you look for ways to do it in which to do it yeah and with customers it's very hard to argue because they are supposed to be right all the time right you know i don't totally agree with that philosophy no but you know what they think yeah i don't totally agree i mean the customer is not always right the customer I mean, we try we try to live up to the customer's expectations, but if the customer is not right, we need to look for a proper way to make him or her understand where they mm -hmm. are wrong without mm -hmm. hurting feelings and mm -hmm. always trying to be professional. But to say that the customer is right, I think that's a bad philosophy. Well, that's my point of view. Okay. That's my point of view because it's pretty hard to make a company work believing that. Pretty hard. <laughs> hey, it's time. Let's go back. Okay. Okay, let's see. Heidi, let's continue with our discussion. Okay. I don't believe the customer is right. What do you think? You don't believe it? No. I think you have to make them believe they're right, but even though you know they're not right. Oh, that's deceiving. That's pretty deceiving. You have to make them believe they are right. That's pretty deceiving. Oh my gosh. That was a nice phrase. You just, yeah, you just pin on me. <laughs> that's cool. That's cool. I like it. Okay, thank you. Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Okay, you were talking for a little while, guys. Sorry, time went out of my hands because the topic has been very interesting and I was talking with a couple of groups and I got stuck. Let me get the second attendance, please. And I'm behind on everything tonight. Ada Susana Cáceres Mendoza. Present teacher. Ambarelli Alfaro Gómez. Present. 
Ana Claudia González Velázquez. Present teacher. Francisco Eduardo Figueroa Mejía. Present teacher. Heidi Eugenia Salguero de Rivas. Present teacher. Henry Neftalí Méndez Torres. Ileana Giselle Cañas Escobar. Present. Jacqueline Xiomara Morales de Castro. José Marcos Rodríguez Ayala. José Osmín Rivas Navas. Present. José Wilfredo Ayala Sorto. María Present Alejandra teacher. Barrientos Romero. Thank you, José Wilfredo. Nicolás Atilio Méndez Granados. Present. Rebeca Jasmine Monterrosa Figueroa. Present. Roxana Iveta Asensio de Mejía. Stephanie Alejandra Salmerón Ibarra. Present. Susana Beatriz Ortiz de Cornejo. Present teacher. Wilman Frank Figueroa Peñate. Present. Ramón Enrique Mata Escobar. Present teacher. Fernando Marvin González Martínez. Okay, let's see. Ambar. Hello, Ambar. Hello. How are you, Ambar? Long time not talking to you. How's everything? Everything is okay, teacher. Thank you for asking. Okay. Tell me, Ambar, in your opinion, uh, what are some reasons why people argue? Mm. What are some it's reasons? De it's depending. I think uh, the people are usually argue. Yeah. Or economics problems or maybe family problems. And always is for because they don't how do you say ellos no están de acuerdo? They don't agree. They don't agree in in their opinions in in some topics. I don't know. Okay. Perfect. Thank you. Excellent. Okay. Now let's see. Mr. Rivas, Jose Osmin Rivas. Hello. Hello, teacher. Okay, tell me, what does your family argue about? <laughs> okay, teacher. So remember not, I have a long time that I I never uh, heard any argument with them. I think so. When I was a child, they discovered some problems that I caused. <laughs> but yeah. Oh, so nowadays they don't argue because you are not giving problems. Oh, that's why. That's right. <laughs> cool. Excellent. Thank you. You're welcome. Ada, tell me, how do you avoid arguments? Um, talking about the problem and the looking the solution. Looking for the solution. Looking for the solutions. Okay, perfect. Or oh, a bit teacher <laughs> a bit the avoid, problem. Avoid. avoid avoid the situation. Um the situation is degastante. Exhausting. Exhausting is a voice. <laughs> okay. Yes. Interesting. Okay. Yeah. Exhausting. Very not. Yeah. Exhausting. Now, guys, let's see. What we need to talk a little bit about grammar. And today, the topic is quite simple. It's type endings. You know. Uh, up to now, I think some of you already know what type endings are. 
little phrases that we also use them in Spanish. The thing is that in Spanish is it's pretty simple because we use the same one for almost all of them. Because we say, oh, si, oh, no. Those two words, oh, si, oh, no. That's the tag endings. And now I'll show you why. Let me share with you so you can check it out. Okay, tag questions. Look at the examples in the box, then complete the exercises below. Tag questions turn a statement into a question. We use them to check information that we think is true. Okay. If the main clause is positive, the tag question is negative. The content manager revised the list of keywords, didn't he? He is in charge of designing our new web page, isn't he? Now, if you notice, if the sentence is affirmative, the tag is negative. In the tense that the main sentence is expressed, that's something that we need to be careful. Because if you notice here, revise, simple past. This is a regular verb. The ED expressed the simple past. That's why we have did. Okay. He is in charge of designing our new web page. Isn't he? He isn't in charge of designing our new web page. Is he? Look at this one. He isn't. Is he? In this case, as the sentence is negative, the type is affirmative. And there wasn't an increase in web traffic. This was web traffic yesterday. Was there? Okay. If you notice, negative, the type affirmative. And that's all. Just remember that the tag is always going to be in the tense that we are talking about, okay? Now, uh, there's just one exception that we need to be aware of, and it's not explained here. Mm. Let me share with you. Okay. It's this one. Look. Look at this. We are right. Okay, look, Heidi, I am your English teacher. Look at this. Aren't I? Teacher. Yes. And when do you use that? So for example, uh, I can, I heard you when we start the class, but I can't remember the sentence. Uh, for example, if you say, I'm your English teacher, right? When do you use right yeah. and when do you use aren't I? What's the difference? There's not. Mm -hmm. The only difference perhaps is this. Uh, oof. That's uh, well, well, it's something that I have for tomorrow that I wanted to explain you this. But just let me finish with this and I will tell you when, why we can use uh, tags instead of write. Okay, just give me a couple of minutes. Okay, in this case, I am your English teacher, aren't I? What happened is this that. Uh, what we are talking about here is that we need to use the simple form of the verb. This is the base form. 
And in this case, the base form is aren't or I. It's not isn't, it's not am I not. I am your English teacher, am I not? We don't talk like that. We use aren't I? If it's in simple past. I was your English teacher. What do we use? Was I or weren't I? It's so strange to read I and I. <laughs> yeah, because look at here. I was your English teacher. Wasn't I? Weren't I? Don't worry, tomorrow I will have it ready for you. I will leave you with the doubt right now. Not with the doubt, but I will leave you like thinking a little bit. You know, those are the type of, of little things that makes languages pretty interesting. Now, with the question that uh, Heidi was asking, Okay, let's see. The thing is this, look, when you use, when you have the sentence, like if the sentence is affirmative, the content manager revised the list of keywords, didn't he? In this case, you just want, if the sentence is affirmative with the tag, what you're doing Heidi is confirming what you already know. Mm. Heidi, you are a manager for a branch, aren't you? Yes, I need right? to confirm. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Okay, perfect. Heidi, uh, you are a, you are an engineer, aren't you? I'm sorry, you aren't an engineer, are you? something that you don't know in this case exactly exactly as i express the sentence if the sentence is in negative the tag is affirmative but if the sentence is in negative what i am trying is to find out information that i completely don't know okay in okay. the first one if the sentence is affirmative the tag helps me to confirm something that I have a slight doubt. But if the sentence is negative, the tag helps me to find out information that I, uh, I don't know at all. Like in your case, I mean, I know that you work for a, for a bank, that I know that you're a manager, but I don't know what you studied at the university. I don't know if you are a bachelor in administration or accountancy, or if you're an engineer, right? So that's why I ask you, uh, you aren't um, an engineer, are you? And then mm. you tell me, oh, no, I am. Or you tell me, actually, yes, I am. Mm -hmm. I got it. You got it? You, now, uh, what I wanted you to understand is this. That's the difference of simply saying right. Mm -hmm. because My concern teacher is when to use do, do you, does he, all those. Depending on the question, on the sentence, on the affirmative sentence or the negative sentence. Mm, okay. I'll give you, don't worry that I have prepared for you for tomorrow, like the whole list. Ah, okay, it's, exactly. It's because I was trying to make the exercise regarding this topic in the platform, and I was okay. trying in that way in the number one with don't, are, and it's incorrect. Yeah, like Anna Claudia works for a call center, doesn't she? Mm. Anna Claudia works, simple present. Uh, Automatically, I know that the tag is going to be the auxiliary for the simple present. Okay, got it. Got it? Okay, got it now. Yes. The verb is 
uh, yeah, where... that's what really gives you that's the one mm -hmm. that that tells you exactly and specifically what the other part is going to be mm -hmm. about okay. okay got it up got to it. this point any question no teacher okay now so in the one that i was explained to you aren't i and now am i not the difference is this you can use am i not yes grammatically is it correct yes then what's the difference okay let's go back to the whiteboard if you notice i have here i am your english teacher aren't i let's uh, let me clear. I am your English teacher. Comma, don't forget the comma always before the tag. Okay. Okay, this sentence and this other sentence. are completely the same and completely different at the same time. Look at them. I am your English teacher, aren't I? I am your English teacher. Am I not? Let me get you that phrase for you in the group because I need to, to talk directly to you. Oh. Okay, why are they the same and why are they different at the same time? Because I see that Diliana is like this. What is he talking about, right? Okay, the difference is this, very simple. Uh, I was talking to Heidi and I was telling her, Heidi, you are a manager for your branch, aren't you? And she was like, yeah, I am your English teacher, aren't I? Colloquial. If I say, I am your English teacher, Liliana, am I not? If you notice, notice something. Liliana, I am your English teacher, aren't I? Now listen to this. Liliana, I am your English teacher, am I not? The pitch change, the demeanor change. The attitude change. It's extremely, but I mean extremely formal. Pretty, pretty formal. And in some, in certain situations, it can even sound stuck up. You know that expression? Stuck up. What is the meaning of stuck up? Ooh, a person who's stuck up, it's a person that is kind of, you know, uh, uh, engreído, presumido. That's stuck up. So if I start, uh, I mean, if in order for me to teach your class, you start listening to me like speaking in, in this way, and and trying all the time to sound like uh, extremely formal in the no. end perhaps you can feel that i am a stuck up person even though it's it's in the scope of my abilities to use this type of vocabulary in a very appropriate form 
but you will feel that, I mean, after speaking with me like this, if you see me teaching a class like that, you will say like, oh man, that's weird. That's not what who he is, right? Because this is the usual way in which I do it. So I will be stuck up. Now, when I use MI note, I am pretty formal. And sometimes it could be understood like I am like stuck up. You got it? And RNI is very common. I mean, it's colloquial. It's something that people use it normally. But if you are speaking English with somebody and you start like speaking like, am I not? They're gonna look at you like, oh my gosh. Uh, a world perfect person. And actually, well, I mean, yes, tell me. After you use that phrase, I guess that you have to have a good grammarly when you are speaking. Exactly, that was my point. That's the problem. If I start speaking like that, I mean, people will expect from me to be grammatically correct all the time or most of the time, which is actually hard when, it, when uh, English, as in our case, is a second language, right? So uh, that's why we use R and I instead of M I note. Because MI note, and as I told you, is it's correct, yes, completely and perfectly correct. Grammatically is pretty correct. Okay. Uh, so in most of contexts, R and I is going to be the preferred choice. Okay. Any question? Just to wrap it up, I mean, to make it more simple, uh, if you use MI note, it can also sound authority. Okay? And that's something we don't usually want. Okay, shall I continue? Tell me, guys. Tell me, please be honest. Are you understanding what I just explained or? not completely clear. And I'm asking you so I can add something else to the explanation I have for tomorrow. We cool? Yeah. Or, or I did so such a good job that you are like sleeping. We're fine. Okay, let's continue because we need to Move on. Teacher. Yes, tell me. I guess that is hard, hard to understand. But uh, uh, yeah, that's right. Uh, yeah, yeah. That is what I say that if we can, uh, can make we that, 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 yeah, that yes. sentence. Yes, we're going to do it. We're going to do it. And we're going to do them yes, together. Yes. Okay. That's it. Yeah, exactly, Fran. We're going to do it together. Just let me get this. Set so we can work. Okay. Every day, millions of individuals use the internet to search for information. Okay. Which will be the tag in this case? In number one. Is it Anyone don't they? Else? Don't they? Because the subject don't is they. every day, millions of individuals. Millions. Yeah, this is the subject. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. This is the subject, right? Every day, millions of individuals. That's the subject. The verb, as Heidi was saying, use. The tense of the verb, present. So we are going to use the simple present auxiliary. And the simple present auxiliary is do or does. In this case, when we talk about everyday million, millions of individuals, this is the subject, millions of individuals. 
So we are talking about them, right? Mm -hmm. Yep. So for them, what do we use? Do or does? Does. Do, right? Use do. 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 And, and remember, the sentence was affirmative, right? So in this case, the tag is, oops, my bad. The tag is negative. Don't they? And question. Oh, remember that we got us a comma before, right? Instead of this period will be a comma. Every day, millions of individuals use the internet to search for information, comma, don't they? Number two, let me write the whole sentence so we get it better. Number two says, search marketing isn't the vital into three main categories. Comma. Okay, guys, tell me the time. Is it? Is Isn't it? Is it? Is it? Is it? Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. We already got a negative here. So if we have negative, exactly, it must be affirmative. So is it? Is it? Is it? Is it? Is Search it. marketing is divided into three main categories. Is it? Perfect. Next one. Your, you got your, your business appears in the first search results. Remember, comma, what's the tag in this case? Doesn't it? Doesn't it? Doesn't it? Okay. Doesn't it? Perfect. It's negative. Doesn't it? Okay. Heidi, tell me why doesn't it? Explain to me. Well, I think that it refers to your business, like uh -huh. your so it's thus. I think. And okay. it refers to a business, I think. So doesn't it? It's not talking about a he or her. It's about a thing. I think, I think. And, and it refers to your business. So it's because I, of the verb. Uh huh. And also remember something. Also remember something. I'm sorry. Also remember something that the verb is in simple present. Simple. Mm -hmm. And appears third person of third singular. Person. So that's why we get das. And if the sentence is affirmative, the tag is negative. Okay, number four. Is oops, S E O. What is it? Is the process of gaining? I'm sorry, guys, that today I'm using a different keyword and it's a, always a problem for me. Presence through. Unpaid efforts. Okay. The process of gaining presence through unpaid efforts. What's the tag here? Isn't mm -hmm. What? Isn't it? Isn't it? Isn't it? Perfect. Why isn't it? Because you're using the verb to be? Yes, exactly. Because the verb we are using is the verb be. 
okay? Is, mm -hmm. is the process. So this is the verb. And remember that with the verb being, we don't use auxiliaries. Okay. So no problem. So number five, who's gonna do it for me? It is uncommon for search marketing efforts to lack strategy guidance. Is it? Is it? Is it? Is it? Is it? Yes, affirmative. Why? Because here is negative. Negative. The first step of any search marketing strategy is planning. Isn't it? Isn't it? Isn't it? Perfect. So you see, quite simple, right? Mm. I'm struggling with the number one of the, for example, that you want to go on holiday. I was using, don't you? And it's not correct. You want to go? You want to go on holiday. Don't, don't you? you? Uh -huh. yeah. that, that would be the correct tag, right? You want to, be, you want to go on a holiday. No, you don't want you? to go on holiday. You want to go on holiday, don't you? Because the bear is to want, right? Yeah. Or to go. <laughs> Still. Teacher, teacher. Uh, yeah. In that, in that, uh, in that exercise. Well, when I put the, my answer, I don't, I don't, I just, just write, don't you, without the, the, the. Uh, it took, the, it, took it correct? Or the question mark. Yeah, without the question mark. Just don't you. And, and it took it correct? Yeah, don't you. Oh. Yeah, and you have to be careful with the apostrophe. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Must be the one, let me try because I'm fighting. You are yeah. right. All of them are correct. When I okay, got it. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, because my, my dear, uh, in the exercise, the question mark it's already there. Already in the oh, yeah. In the come sentence. on, if we write it correctly as the exercise is asking, or the sentence must be written, so should be. Now I got it. I got them. Okay, thank you, Liliana. My pleasure. Yeah, but if you notice, uh, yeah, in the exercise, you want to go on a holiday, comma, space, question mark. Mm -hmm. So they are asking you exactly what goes between the comma and the question mark. No, but, but the correct way to write it completely, the sentence should be, you want to go on holiday, comma, don't you? And then the question mark, right? Yes, but they already have provided for you the comma ah, and the question mark. That is the reason why. It's like a kind of a space. I see it now. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Teacher. Yes? I'm talking about women and betrays. Holidays. When are we going ah. to have vacation? <laughs> okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. What you talking about? Run that again for me, please. You know what they say in Spanish, hablando de mujeres y traiciones. Okay. Okay, you made me may say a phrase that it's nice to share with you. Uh, when she told me that, I told her, run that again for me, please. And that means repeat. I didn't get you, I didn't catch you, I didn't hear you. Another another way I could have told her, it's this, but this is more formal. Uh, like this, almost like a question, beg your pardon. Mm -hmm. When you use that expression, you're asking the other person. Uh, in this case, when you use beg your pardon, you're saying, you're telling it specifically to the other person, would you mind please repeating again for me? More formal. So okay. formal, right? Yep. But when you say run that again for me, please, you are saying, man, I didn't get it. Please repeat. Okay, so vacations, you said, Heidi. Mm -hmm. Next week, complete. 
see you back on Monday the what? That one. <laughs> That's great news. <laughs> Come on, Heidi. So I leave much. you homework. I leave you homework for every single day. No. I'm kidding. I'm Come kidding. on. Because <laughs> you know, you I don't have, a, I don't have a, any vacation. I have to continue working. Me too, but you leave homework to Heidi and she resolve it in one day, in 30 minutes. Yep. Thank you, Heidi. <laughs> right? <Welcome. laughs> no, nah, don't worry, don't worry. Actually, uh, I will give you some 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 info tomorrow that I've been sharing with, with some people for you to keep on practicing, but that's up to you. What I will recommend you uh, during that period of vacation is at least five minutes of your day dedicated to practice, okay? Five minutes minimum, 10 minutes max, no more than 10. You work, your spouses, your parents, and you got many different commitments. With 10 minutes on a daily basis, it's gonna be good for you, no more than that because you're, go, you're stressed. I mean, you need to relax a little bit, okay? But yes, you need to practice because believe me, after one week of not practicing at all, you'll feel the difference completely. And I mean, uh, you know, sometimes with some topics to advance is a little bit hard, but to go back is so easy. And that's why, but yeah, Heidi, one week. Happy. Hey. Absolutely, teacher. Thank you. That's great Heidi. news. That's fine. That's fine. I'm so glad that you're happy for that. <laughs> yeah, and it's going to be good because you're going to have one week of vacation, then one of class, then again, you're going to rest for another week. So it's going to be good for you. Yeah. But uh, something that I needed to remind you is this, guys, please, the platform. And I mean it, please, I'm begging you, please complete the platform because uh, as I'm checking the, 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 the grade book, I'm checking the grade book. I noticed that some of you, there's some of you who have not done the, the midterm yet and some of you that just started it. And I still got some people here with section, well, I got a couple of you who have not done nothing at all. And I have, one, two, three, three more that have just worked on section number one. So, and I mean, the problem is this, it's gonna be pretty hard and pretty exhausting for you at the end to be running. And at the end, what I'm going to do is that be pushing you and pushing you because they're gonna be asking me to do it. I mean, it's not something that I'd like to do, but if I have to, I have to. Something else that I need to remind you is this. And that's why I set apart a few minutes for the end of the class. Uh, the attendance. In some cases, there's some of you who have been absent for a couple of classes. Now, remember that according to Insafor, we need at least 80% of your grade in the platform and 80% of the attendance. Now, up to now, I have one, let me see, uh, perhaps two, three. I have three of you that I will let you know tomorrow in a message that you cannot pull you cannot miss not even one class. And some of you cannot miss not even half the class because of the minutes in order to reach the minimum amount of minimums, the of minutes in order to approve the motion. And I will let you know how many are you missing so you can like 
get on it. If I don't text you, that means that you're okay, no problem. But remember, I mean, if you were not in a class, you can tell me, look, teacher, I'm busy. I have this problem or that problem. And I can tell you, okay, I understand you. But remember that the minute is what really matters for in support. I mean, they're interested in checking because they have the access. We need to provide them the access, the access directly to the reports from Zoom. They check out uh, your check-in and your check-out time and the average of minutes you got. And I mean, I don't know if they can, they, and they do it every single course. So please, uh, as far as possible, do your best to stay connected for the whole class. And I mean, it's gonna be good because you are going to, uh, Jessica, it's gonna be good because we are going to have, as Heidi said, one week of relax so you can charge your batteries, get back on track and it's gonna be helpful for you. But please, as far as possible, don't miss no more classes because it's going to affect you. And remember, when it comes to in support, if you flunk uh, this in this course, if you flunk one level, that's it. You cannot take it again. And you cannot move ahead. I mean, if you fail, you fail. And that's as far as you're going to get into the English for Work program. I mean, and the, 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 the policies they got for this specific course are very strict. Remember, you are receiving a very intensive course. You are getting 10 hours a week. Usually people in, if you go to an academy, you get four, six tops a week. And in this case, you are getting 10. So do your best. I know that it's hard. I know some of you are pretty tired because it's been long, but this is actually the, the, the hardest part. And this is the, hard, the part when we need to, to really make the biggest effort because believe me, when you get to the advanced, advanced ones, two, three, you're gonna feel it easy and you're gonna feel that you're advancing. This is the hard part because we're starting getting into the, into the heavy grammar, the heavy vocabulary but you are already thinking in English, so you're gonna see the results pretty soon. Do your best and remember if there's something that is giving you problem, you can ask me. I got many, many resources that can help you according to the aspect that you think is giving you problems the most. I mean, if you feel that is the listening, I got resources. If you feel that it's speaking, I got resources, but let me know so I can help you, okay? And it doesn't matter if you ask me after the class or during, along the day, I got extra info for you, okay? Let me get the final attendance, please. Ada Susana Cáceres Mendoza. Present, teacher. Ambarelli Alfaro Gomez. Present. Ana Claudia González Velázquez. Present, teacher. Francisco Eduardo Figueroa Mejía. Present teacher. Heidi Eugenia Salguero de Rivas. Present teacher. Henry Neftalí Mendez Torres. Ileana Giselle Cañas Escobar. Present. Jacqueline Xiomara Morales de Castro. Present. José Marcos Rodríguez Ayala. Present. Jose Osmin Rivas Navas. Present. Jose Wilfredo Ayala Sorto. Present. María Alejandra Barrientos Romero. Present. Nicolás Atilio Méndez Granados. Rebeca Jasmine Monterrosa Figueroa. Present. Roxana Ivette Asensio de Mejía. Stephanie Alejandra Salmerón Ibarra. Present. Susana Beatriz Ortiz de Cornejo. Raymond Frank Figueroa Peñate. Present. Ramón Enrique Mata Escobar. 
Present teacher. Fernando Marvin González Martínez. Present. Oh, thank you, Fernando. Okay, guys, as usual, a pleasure to have you here. See you tomorrow. Have a good night. Take care. Good night. Bye. Good night, everyone. Good night. Bye, guys, Jose. Teacher, I have a question. Yeah, tell me. Okay, so uh, I don't know, so, <laughs> but I have a problem with this section. So that's why I haven't completed and really sorry as well for the delay. But uh, basically last week and this week, so was like a busy week. Tell me, Dene, tell me which section, one, two or three? Uh, this is the last one, that is two. Section two. Okay. The part four, yeah. that is, I'm missing one. And that is the, the type in report speech. The sentence five, we went out last night. She told me. Mm. The last one. We are mm -hmm. talking about 2.5. That's 2.5. Mm. Oh, no, 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 2.14. Mm-hmm. 2.14. What was it? Uh, we went out last night, she told me. Mm -hmm. And I, so I put the answer, she told me, we went, uh, we had gone out last night. Okay, okay, give me just a second. Mm -hmm. Okay, you got here the options, copy, paste, any of them. If you notice in the first one, instead of a period, you need a comma. She told me they went out last night. They made a mistake and instead of typing a period, they type a comma, it's a typo, okay? So you can just copy paste. Okay. Let's see, she told me the one. Let me try. Did it work? Uh, no, the f I tried with the first one. Okay, try the second one. Mm -hmm. But what I recommend you to do is copy paste. Yep, I'm doing that. Yeah, the second one here. Let me try. I don't know what's going on because uh, I did this with a couple of your classmates and it worked for them. Let's see. I don't know, so I got the same issue last time, you remember? I don't know what's going on with the platform. Be sure that you don't have any space in the, uh, where you're going to paste. No, really, so I don't have any space. So let me try the, the, the same thing that I made last time. So close it and research. I don't know why. So I got the same issue last night. So last time. Okay. Let's see.
Okay, ready? Open again. And it's the same, I know. <laughs> I don't know why. Copy paste oh, the uh, document. Mm -hmm, yeah, that's the thing that I will do now. Try to get them, and if it doesn't work, let me know tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Thanks. A uh, good one. So I already did that issue. So okay. I will let you know. So if the same issue is persistent, so I will let you know tomorrow. Okay, perfect. So have a good night. Have a good night. Hi, teacher. Hello, my dear. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. No worry. Okay. So let's see. Give me a second because they are telling me. Let's see, uh, you know what I don't find is your paragraph. Mm. Oh, I got it, I got it, I got it. Mm. You got your paragraph right there in front of you, my dear? Let's give me a sec. Yeah. Okay. The evolution of digital marketing, period. The term digital marketing was first used, U-S-E-D. Uh, yeah, because in past. the past, in past, okay, used. In 1990, mm -hmm. the digital age started with the coming of the internet and the development of the web 1.0, period. In 1994, Yahoo was launched and received close to 1 million hits within the first year. 1998 saw the birth of Google and Microsoft launch. The birth okay. of Google, comma. Okay. I'll explain you why. If you say, if you don't type the comma, you get so the birth of Google and Microsoft. Ah, oh, okay. I, the I, I, the the comma separate like the ideas or, or yes, the... exactly, exactly. The birth of Google, comma, pause. Okay, nineteen ninety eight saw the birth of Google, and Microsoft launched the MSN search engine. You see. And Yahoo brought to the market Yahoo web search. Okay, that Yahoo web search is a given name, so uh, quotation marks. What? Got it? what? Quotation no, no. marks. Word. Sorry. Uh, Yahoo Web Search. Ah, okay. Sir, web Search. Yeah. Yahoo Web Search uh, in quotation, please. Let's continue. Okay. We saw the first big step of digital marketing in 2006 when search engine traffic was reported to have grown to about 6.4 billion in a single month. Then came Web 2.0 that allowed users to interact with other users and businesses. Soon, social networking sites began to emerge. MySpace was the first social networking site to arrive, soon followed by Facebook, YouTube, 
Twitter, WhatsApp, Instagram, Snapchat, among others. 2015 saw the rise of content marketing. So, the digital market is in a constant state of change and now digital marketing is at its peak. Business, businesses need to make sure they have a good foot in with current practices to be able to gain the benefits of the advancements that are to come. Okay. In this last part, okay. 2015 saw the rise of content marketing. So, if you notice, listen to how I read it. Okay. 2015 saw the rise of content marketing. So, if you notice, it's a small post. So yeah. that period is not working there. Yeah. Got it? You're right. Yeah, got it. It's more a comma. Yep. No, semicolon. Why is that semicolon? Okay, okay, okay. The comma. Okay, so comma. Yeah. The digital market is in a constant state of change, of change. And now digital marketing is at its, is at its peak. Yeah. Yeah, the rest Period. is correct as with the exception of businesses. Okay, instead of that comma period. Okay. And now peak, businesses right? work. Now businesses work okay. Okay. Now, so the digital market is in a constant state of change. You now digital marketing is at its peak, period. Yep. And start the other idea, the next idea. Businesses need yeah. to make sure they have a good foot in put in with current practices to be able to gain the benefits of the advancements that are to come, period. Yep, perfect. Okay, I'm going to... This is not period, apart. Okay, part, apart. Yeah. Okay. That would be all. I did the modifications in my word. So, yeah, I got it all day. Okay. All day. I am glad. Uh, yeah. I am glad. If you have any other doubt, let me know, okay? Okay, teacher. Thank you so much. No, thanks to you. Have a good night. Thank you, you too. And that's the end.